What is a zap? Well, if you've been paying attention to Noster, Domus, Snort Social, or any of these ecosystem technologies, you might have heard of the term zap and heard about people zapping each other, and you might be a little bit confused. What is a zap? So I made this video here so we can take a look at how it actually works. First, we're going to look at the Domus client. And in the Domus client, this is a test flight I'm working off of, but this feature is going to be the App Store very soon, like maybe tomorrow. So by the time you're watching this video, this feature is probably already available to, to you. So you can look at each of these look like Twitter posts, but you'll notice that there's a shaka, that hand signal, which is similar to a heart or a like. And that's just meaning, hey, I'm going to appreciate this post, and it's just an expression of excitement, interest, appreciation. But next to that, you'll see the lightning zap. What a zap is, is it means that I'm going to send you not just my appreciation, but I'm going to send you my appreciation tied with some value. And the value is in the form of a Bitcoin lightning payment. So let's see what happens when I tap on that zap. So when I tap on the zap, it launches this window that says zap amount in sats. And I can pick any amount all the way from 21 up to a million, or I could even type in a custom amount. And then I can write a custom uh, note, so a comment here. Let's have a comment that says, I like your note. There's three zap types. You can do a public zap, an anonymous zap, or a non-zap. Public means I'm gonna be visible as one of the people who tipped you, and the amount that I tipped you is gonna be visible. Anonymous means that's not gonna be shown, and a non-zap uh, lets me send it directly to you but doesn't report it in the UI. So it's like a, a way to privately send you appreciation, uh, but there's no representation of it in the UI. So now when I tap zap, what it's going to do is it's going to launch my wallet, and I'm going to use Wallet of Satoshi here, and I'm going to pay that zap. That's 21 sats. That goes right to the receiver of that. And what you can do then is you can, and you can see it has 21 zaps, so you can notice that that's actually um, a representation of the payment that I made. And then you see the where it says one zap over there. You can tap on that and see who sent that. And here you can see it was me who sent 21 sats. And you can see the appreciation where I said, I like your note. Um, now, if we went and found other zaps that were sent to people. So here's an example of a post from JB55, who is the author of Damas. And this one got 1.2 million zaps. And we can look, if we tap on the 14 zaps, it actually gives us a list. So Lyle Pratt sent 1.21 million sats, and then a bunch of other people sent smaller amounts. So you can see who is sending him appreciation and how much they really mean. Now, this is much better than you know a like on social media, which is worth nothing. Here, you earn real value in the form of a lightning payment, which is a Bitcoin. And you earn real value when you post good things here. So... It encourages much higher quality posting, and it limit. It gives you a lot of signal about who is who cares enough about these particular posts that they've decided to actually tie value to it. So it gives you a strong signal on information quality. So that's why I'm excited about Zaps. I think it it ensures that people are getting value for the great content they create, and it gives us an additional signal about the quality of that content.